What's going on everyone? It's Justin. We're back at it again today. It is Monday, January 29th. Currently we're sitting at Walmart. My plan is to do DoorDash today. I'm scheduled from 11.30 to 1. I woke up pretty early. I edited all the video from yesterday, which was Sunday. That video is probably not going to come out till Tuesday. I spent three hours on it last night editing it and then another almost two hours editing it this morning. I went to upload it onto YouTube and our power went out so then when the video hit like 50% it said you need to be logged into YouTube and I couldn't do that because the power was out. They said the power is not going to come on until afternoon so I'll just have to upload it later and probably just schedule it for tomorrow. But I haven't really seen any spark orders pop up since like I don't know eight something really weird uh, it's never happened before but yeah the spark is just not showing me any offers at all but we're gonna park here anyways I'm probably gonna end up turning uber on maybe we get an uber before we start our DoorDash at uh, 1130 I should also mention it's 11 a.m. right now I just turned uber on uh, I don't usually get a whole lot from uber but if something pops up we'll take that if a good spark order pops up we'll take that otherwise we're gonna basically be sitting here till 1130 when we can turn DoorDash on and usually DoorDash has a lot going on, so we'll get back to you when that occurs. All right, current time 11.07. We're going to accept this uh, spark order that just popped up on my screen. $24.52. It's going west, so we should be able to knock this shopping order out and be back here in time for our DoorDash. Current time 11.25. We got everything done. Let's get out of here. All right, that kind of took a little bit longer than expected. It's currently 11.29, so we can turn DoorDash on in about a minute. But this customer, it's going nine minutes away. I didn't realize they were that far into the country. I can't really take the highway there. I gotta go through town. It's 25 miles an hour the whole way. It's only five miles, but it takes a little bit of time, so it is what it is. On our way out there, we're gonna turn DoorDash on. Some of the items this customer wanted were out of stock. They wanted uh, some cheesy breadstick deals from Jack's Pizza. They didn't have those, so I just gave them a cheese pizza. They could just slice it accordingly. <laughs> Pretty much be the same thing, I'm assuming. But they wanted some salami that's on the back wall by like the hot dogs and stuff. They were out of that, so I had to get the salami by the deli. But luckily they had substitutions on there, so I was able to get that done. Pretty sure I delivered to this customer like a week ago. Maybe not, maybe it was just somebody on the same road. But yep, it's the one. You gotta go down this long driveway. All right, we got that knocked out, uh, dogs barking. <laughs> we haven't got any DoorDash offers yet, but I think that's because we're so far out of the zone. All right, everyone, things have not gone as planned. I was uh, sitting at home getting my YouTube video uploaded. About noon, I got an offer for $6 uh, for Jersey Mike's, which is a pretty new restaurant over here. And it's going seven and a half miles, so I declined it. And then I waited about another 20 minutes for another offer. And it was another Jersey Mike's for $7 for 6.3 miles, so slightly better than the other one. But uh, it's going to the same general area, but I went ahead and took it. The problem is, is you not only have to drive to the customer's house, but then you have to drive back to the zone. Um, at one time I got down there and there was like some restaurants down in Walworth, and I picked up a few. I picked up a grocery one that was pretty decent. It was like 17 bucks, and then I got a Subway one. So sometimes you get out there and you get lucky and you get some DoorDashes around that area, but most of the time they just send you right back to the area you were just in. It's not really six miles, it's really 12, you know, for seven bucks. It's, it's not really worth it, but I wanted to do it for the video. So we're heading over here to Jersey Mike's. Like I said, it's pretty new. They just put it in. Uh, I think it's been up and going for maybe a month. <laughs> A lot of people in there, so I just put you guys in my pocket. <laughs> this is just one sandwich, I'm pretty sure. It says 12.29 on the bag, and it's 12.31. That's surprising. Nine-minute drive. Let's get this over to Ryan. He's got some Jersey Mike's. All right, guys. I got a uh, Walmart Spark order for $13. I didn't even take a screenshot of it. It was two items. I, you know, heading over to this DoorDash, I didn't want to take it. And then another offer popped up, and this truck just pulled out in front of me like a clown. Hi, how you doing? Idiot. Anyways, it was uh, $26.36. I got a screenshot of that one for you guys. It was like 20 items or so. I didn't glance at it too much because right now there's not many sparks popping up. So we're just going to, I guess, do this one DoorDash today. Hopefully, uh, we got a longer DoorDash tomorrow. We'll be able to do some more, but things did not go as planned. 
but we're gonna make the money on spark while it's there I mean why would I want a DoorDash and get five dollars here seven dollars here when I can knock one order out at on spark and it takes me like 25 30 minutes and it's like 24 26 makes no sense so yeah we tried to DoorDash didn't work out sorry DoorDash we'll try you again tomorrow <laughs> All right, we're about to pull up to the customer's house. Looks like they're right over here. They added the following instructions. Leave at my door. All right, we got our $7, $2 delivery and $5 tip. Let's head back to Walmart and get another order. Let's go! Seems like every customer, they have dogs and dogs are barking. <laughs> We're gonna end the dash so we don't get any more dashes. It is 12.40. We don't wanna screw up our uh, rate. Acceptance rate is at 46%. It dropped down when we uh, denied the first one and then when we took the next one, it didn't, it didn't go up at all, so 46%. Wamp, wamp. All right, we're at Walmart, it's 12.49. Looks like they want some sliced meat, a hot turkey, some produce, and some grocery items, some dairy. Pretty easy, should be in and out in like 15 minutes. Kind of forgot to film in there, but it's 103, we got everything. All right, this one's going out to Fontana. I don't know if we've uh, gone out to Fontana yet. Not far from Williams Bay, Walworth, all that. It's all in the same area, pretty much. But um, 15 minute drive, should be there by 1.20. You guys gotta see this view, man. This place is freaking bougie, man. Million dollar houses and crap over here. But, yep. You gotta go 25 miles an hour through this whole darn subdivision. I can't drive 25. Coming up on the house here pretty soon. Pretty sweet houses, man. Yeah, I've delivered to this customer before. Nice house, brick house. Let them know I grabbed their hot chicken last, so it'll still be hot. They have a ring doorbell, so. Those things are pretty cool, I need to get one of those. For the line, love isn't always on time. We're back at Walmart, a $14.58 popped up. It's a shopping order, but it's going way out in the country, like six miles, and I don't feel like driving all the way out there for less than 15 bucks, so I'm gonna reject that one. We're just gonna chill here for a while. If we don't end up getting any good offers, we might just head home and call it a day. We just got a $49 banger. Let's go, baby, come on. Current time, 153. This is an apartment, extra earnings. Just when I was about to give up and then we get a $49 banger. That's unbelievable. So they got some cooking items, some bread and stuff, dairy, grocery items, frozen items, more grocery items, some household items. That's all in the back area. Impulse merchandise, makeup, okay. And then produce, wall deli. It shouldn't be too hard, probably 20 minutes or so. Pretty similar to the $50 banger we got yesterday, uh, which we knocked out in like about 22 minutes for the shopping. So, heck yes, let's get it. Current time, 2.13, and we knocked it all out. Let's go. All right, we're heading down to Walworth on this one. It's eight and a half miles away, about 13 minute drive. Customer states that people are getting lost getting there. It's an apartment. All right guys, I was actually over here before. I, I know exactly where this is because I got lost finding one of these buildings. You had to go to the back of the building. But this one is 312 and I see it right there. So I don't know how, how anybody got lost. And there's a stroller in the front, just like they said. We're 
heading back to Walmart. I wanted to show you guys this area. I was over here on Saturday. I actually didn't film Saturday at all, but I was driving over here, and as I was going down, there was a deer running across the road. I slowed down, and he got right to the side of the road, like literally right there, and uh, there was another deer, and there, so there was two of them, and I got a really good photo of them. I'll put it up on the screen so you guys can see. It was really awesome. It was really foggy that morning, and it was just it was like something out of a movie. All right, everyone, current time is 3.05. Sitting in the Walmart parking lot for a little while. No orders have popped up at all. I decided to uh, download the Jersey Mike's app and I ordered myself a sub. I haven't bought from the new location yet, so it sounded really good and uh, I'm pretty hungry and this day is going pretty slow. Once I get the sub, I'm gonna head back to the house. We're gonna run over the totals in the garage and see how we did. All right, we're back in the garage. We're gonna run over all the totals here. We drove 64 miles in total. We made $107.28. We took three spark orders and one DoorDash. The DoorDash was $7. Probably wasn't even worth taking it. We got that banger at the end for $49.40. That was awesome. First order probably took us about a half hour. Then we came back home and started uploading my YouTube video and then uh, went back out for that DoorDash. The DoorDash was about 12.30. It's 3.15 now. So we pretty much worked about three hours in total today. Some of that was just sitting around waiting for orders. So we made about $35 and change per hour. And then we made about $1.67 per mile. So not the greatest, but a lot of that was every one of our deliveries was going way out where, and then we had to drive all the way back every time. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. We got that awesome banger. Um, that was unexpected. Tried to DoorDash, but unfortunately <laughs> we got like no good DoorDashes and then uh, our time kind of ran out and we grabbed the spark order that was you know way better than just doing a bunch of DoorDash. But of course they got Dash now on while we're home and we're not gonna do DoorDash, but we're going to do that. Hopefully we'll get some good orders. Um, you know, if uh, Spark is slow like it is today, we might end up just running around doing a bunch of dashing. That would make for a pretty cool video. So subscribe, follow the channel. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one.